Welcome to another episode of PTV, the show that gives you a weekend worth of ideas in under five minutes. On this episode of PTV, we'll be chalking up some style points during our Pinspired project. We'll be introducing you to an extremely Pinteresting individual during our Pinteresting People segment, recommending a great celebrity pinner to follow during the Celebrity Pin of the Week, and finally, I'll be sharing some of my personal sources of inspiration during our Pinterest Pirate segment. So without further ado, let's jump into things. Chalkboards. They've been replaced these days by dry erase boards, overhead projectors, and fancy monitors, so I found myself feeling a little nostalgic when I came across a clever idea on Pinterest for decorative chalkboards. These boards are attractive, easy to make, and most of all, functional. Check out one I made for my grandparents' 70th wedding anniversary from an old mirror. Here's how they're made. Take any old tray you have around the house, unless you're really into this, then you can use a silver tray. Now you'll paint the center with chalkboard paint. Let it dry and then write anything you like. You can use these chalkboards for your to-do list, grocery list, or even a housewarming gift. Simply write welcome or thank you or even the dinner menu. And if the kids are misbehaving, write their names on it like they used to do to us in school. Man, I feel old. In our search for new and fascinating individuals on Pinterest, we came across a young lady by the name of Casey Wiegand. Casey is the author of an incredibly popular blog called The Wiegands, where she's followed by thousands of readers who adore her heartfelt stories of motherhood, family, faith, and life as an artist. Her Pinterest boards range from littles for children to bump with maternity photo inspirations. And as a busy mother, her dinner board showcases the best and easiest in dinner ideas with delicious things like baked potato pizza. We highly recommend following her on Pinterest and checking out her blog. Casey Wiegand, you are Pinteresting. Now let's take a quick peek behind the velvet rope to see what Hollywood's pinning. Okay folks, level with me for a second. Does anyone belong on Pinterest more than Martha Stewart? I think not. The Queen of Crafts has best-selling books, magazines, a TV show, and international fame, and to top it all off, she also has a killer Pinterest page with eye candy galore. If you've ever wanted to look inside her stunning array of homes, you can see them all in one place on our aptly named My Homes board. But the best ideas come from her sewing board, where you can learn how to create a stuffed bunny made from upcycled men's shirts. It's a good thing. You know you want to, and I can't blame you. Go check out Martha's boards. This brings us to our final segment of the episode, the segment where I give away all of my crafty little secrets, like how to make watermelon lime popsicles. And trust me when I say, they will change your life. Emily Schumann of the blog Cupcakes and Cashmere pinned these watermelon lime popsicles that she made for a glee watching party at her house. And while I'm not a glee fanatic, I'd watch just about anything if these popsicles were being served. They're perfect for a party or just a warm summer night. Thank you, Emily Schumann and CupcakesandCashmere.com. You have officially been pirated. Well, we've come to the end of this episode of Pinterest TV. If you're interested in being featured on PTV, hit us up at PinteresttV.com. And you can also connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next time.